We've all used Airbnb before, and while we love it for being able to use houses, one thing that has always been an issue is that you don't actually get points. Like all of these other hotel programs give you points, Airbnb doesn't. But then I found out about Marriott Home and Villas program where it looks like you are able to rent a house or a place just like Airbnb, but then I get on my next trip, I was like, why don't I just actually book it with Marriott Home and Villas? And so this is my review of their program and how I think they did and stood up. So here's the booking website. It's just like any other booking website. You put in your location and then you put in your dates and you put in search and off you go on your merry way. You don't need to be putting in on this one, like if you want a single room, that's just not an option. Um, you are getting entire apartments, entire homes, or villas. So fancy. I kind of love this. As a person that's typically traveling with her two small children, I do, I'm not renting a room. Like I'm not staying in one room with two small children. I'm not a crazy person. So yeah, this was the place that we ended up booking. It ended up looking just like this, minus the sunset that did not come with it at least not during our stay. Cool things about the Marriott program is you can use points to pay for it, which I really love. So here it is, us leaving rainy Minneapolis and then hello, gorgeous Austin, Texas. This was the concierge. It was really easy. We were able to get checked in within about five minutes. This was the lobby of the apartment. It was kind of crazy. Like this apartment was really well known for just honestly short-term rentals. So they had coffee and an entire bar in the basement, which honestly was really cool. It really gave it a hotel vibe while still getting all of those like apartment perks that we're about to see. So here's the apartment. It 100% matched what was on the Marriott website. I do have to say I like the Marriott program. They vet they have standards so that you very much so have to match certain standards, which I think is really great. It allows for a little bit better of experience. Like the kitchen was fully stocked with all the glassware, you know, they had coffee pods and all of that. This view was amazing. We really only booked this place because of this view and you just can't get, this view is truly amazing. Really other cool things about the Marriott program is they typically are having points bonuses. So like during this day, I ended up getting a point bonus, which was really great. Um, the place that we stayed at had two bedrooms, one and a half baths. Um, the only one strange thing was it originally said that it was going to have a desk Murphy bed and instead it just had this like, giant bed on the tallest bed frame I've ever seen. It wasn't a Murphy bed. Um, otherwise, yeah, had laundry. So yeah, it was really a great stay. We had a great trip and we all agreed that we would be staying here again if we came to Austin, Texas. So I just got back from my trip. I would have to say I will be booking Marriott for all of my future travel trips. I thought the communication was really great. One issue I did have, end up having was um, I didn't get my security deposit refunded with me in like a certain amount of time. I reached out to Marriott. They then issued the refund pretty much immediately within 48 hours. Um, and it was really easy for communication. So overall, I think Marriott is a really great option. One thing that I am not sure about, but say maybe you did have an issue with your like your Marriott stay. I almost wonder if you could then reach out to Marriott and then they would put you up at the hotel since it's all kind of banked under the same parent company, which I think would be really interesting. So yeah, I would say I highly recommend, and this is completely unsponsored. Um, if you're booking your next day, I recommend booking it with Marriott Home and Villas. Start earning those points. Go for the points. I don't understand why people always avoid points. Go live your best life and get points. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want more content like this or more different content.